In part three of this series where we rearrange literal formulas, I'll show you how to rearrange six more examples. Starting with the one that you see on your screen, P is equal to bracket WQ minus VQ. And what they want us to isolate for is Q. The target variable is found in two terms. So in a situation like this, you want to see if you can common factor. Between these two terms, Q is common factorable. So I can rewrite this as P is equal to Q open bracket W minus V. Now we have two factors, Q and what's inside the parentheses. Dividing both sides by W minus V, watch what happens. This factor and this factor will cancel out, leaving us with Q is equal to P over W minus V. Now in the next one, they want us to isolate for S. S is right here, and it's found within brackets. What I want to do is take this term over to the other side, and that becomes plus F is equal to WQ minus SQ. Our target variable is right here, so we'll take this term over, P plus F minus WQ is equal to negative SQ. Now what's preventing this S from being all alone and isolated is this negative and this Q. So I can divide both sides by negative Q. And you have to do this for all three of the terms on the left side as well. So negative Q, negative Q, and over here negative Q. Of course, if you don't want to do that, if you want to just write down one common denominator, you can do that as well. But continuing on with what I wrote, this negative and this negative cancel out, so do these two Qs, leaving us with only S on the right side. Also, keep in mind that this negative and this negative will become a positive, and this Q and this Q will go away, leaving us with P over negative Q minus F over Q, this term, and this has become plus W. Now let's move on to the next example. They want us to isolate for R. This is the compound interest formula, in case you're curious, and we want R, so R is found within parentheses, and there's also a power NT. Let's start by getting rid of this factor P. I can do that by dividing both sides by P, giving us F over P, is equal to 1 plus R over N bracket NT. Now before we can get to this R, we need to get rid of these exponents. And up until this point, the only power that we've worked with is a power of 2. And we square rooted, and that got rid of the power of 2. So how do we get rid of a power of NT? Once again, we can root both sides. And we can N times T root both sides. What I mean by that is, I'll introduce this symbol, and I'll write down the power right here as the index of this radical. The symbol is called a radical. And what you do on the left side, you got to do on the right side. And what this will do is get rid of this power nt. So if this were a 4, you'd write an index of 4 and I'd write an index of 4 here, just to let you know. Now, on the right side, since this is gone and that's gone, we have 1 plus r over n. I'll bring this 1 over. That makes it, continuing my work over here, minus 1 is equal to r over n. Our last step is to get rid of this n that's in the denominator position, and I can multiply every term by the common denominator, which is n. So multiplying this by n, multiplying this term by n, and this term by n, here's what I get. n times nt as the index, f over p, minus 1 times n is n, don't confuse this as a power, I just wrote it there for convenience, is equal to r. That's the equation for r. Next, we have i is equal to prt, and they want us to isolate for p. So we have three factors here. I can divide the right side by rt, leaving me with i over rt is equal to, notice how this factor and this factor cancel out, and so do these t's. In our second last example, they want us to solve for r sub 2. r sub 2 is found within this parentheses, and we have the factor l and the factor 1 minus r sub 1. I'll divide both sides by l times bracket 1 minus r sub 1. So dividing the right side by l bracket 1 minus r sub 1, and the same thing on the left side. This and this cancel out, these factors cancel out, leaving us with n over l bracket 1 minus r sub 1 is equal to the only thing left on the right side, 
1 minus r sub 2. I can bring this 1 over. We end up with n over l bracket 1 minus r sub 1 minus 1 is equal to negative r sub 2. We need to get rid of this negative, so we divide both sides by negative 1. Divide this by negative 1, divide this by negative 1, and this by negative 1. On the right side, this has become positive r sub 2, which is exactly what we want. These terms become plus 1, and this becomes negative n over l 1 minus r sub 1. And feel free to put this negative at the top. Lastly, they want us to solve for t, w, and f. Let's start with t. To solve for t, you bring this over and then divide both sides by f. So you end up with h minus bracket f minus 1 times w over f is equal to t. That was easy. Two steps. If we want to solve for w, we bring ft over h minus ft is equal to f minus 1 times w and divide both sides by f minus 1. Notice now we only have w left. And now to get f alone, this is probably the more challenging one, you multiply this w into these parentheses. So I'll show you right here. h is equal to ft plus fw minus w. Bring the w over. You get h plus w is equal to ft plus fw. Now you can common factor an f from both of these terms. h plus w on the left side, that doesn't change. And since we're looking for f, we can divide both sides now by t plus w. So t plus w at the bottom here. And t plus w cancels out, leaving you with f is equal to everything on the left. And there you have it. Six more examples on how to rearrange literal formulas. There is one more part to this series. We'll hope to see you soon.